In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D bobble plant holder or plant pot in Tinkercad. I'm starting off with a cylinder in the basic shapes and I'm going to be resizing this to 150 by 150 by 150 height. I also increase the sides to 64 to smooth them. Uh, there are a number of different ways of uh, doing this and uh, there's no wrong or right way. You can hold the shift and to drag it to resize. The next thing I do is duplicate the shape and then increase the height. I then make the uh, cylinder transparent and holding the shift I decrease the size so I can see uh, the inside of the pot and then I'm going to lift it up by I think uh, two mil just to give a base to it. I'm then going to make the outside, the outer of the pot transparent and the inner solid. This will be reversed later on but I'm using this to give a guide for putting the balls onto the pot. I then select a sphere from the basic shapes and then place it onto the side of the pot and move it in and then select another one and move it in so they're all fairly even and I just repeat this whole process around the bottom of the pot. Again there are many different ways of doing this uh, I'm just showing you one other people will have it a different way they'll duplicate it and do it this is just the way I do it works for me and I like the fact that uh, if I don't just duplicate them all the time I've got everyone is, is different so it gives a different pattern all the way through. I do this all the way around the pot and I just keep checking to make sure I haven't got one or two sticking out too far and it's all fairly even around the bottom. I also increase the steps on each sphere to 24 to make them all nice and smooth. Once I've completed the ring I reverse the inner cylinders making the outside one solid and the inside one transparent. I then drag my mouse across everything to select everything and then I hold shift and deselect the cylinders. I then hit the group button or control G. I then go on to hit the duplicate button or control D. I then move that group of bobbles up and I rotate it. The angle you rotate it is up to you. I can't remember what I did, uh, 40 degrees I think. And then made sure I got the right position. While doing this you shouldn't come off or deselect the item you're moving. Once you've done this you just hit the duplicate button or control D and it will keep rotating the pattern and moving it up until you get to the top. Once you've got it to the top uh, you can drag your mouse across to select all and then hit Control G or the group button to group everything. Now this will take some time so be patient for it to all group. Once done you're left with the pot shape and you now need to cut off the bottom of the pot and the top of the pot. 
you select a transparent box now I got this wrong in the first place the easiest way is just select a box first and then move it down to minus 20 and then spread it out Once you've got that covering everything below the line, you can duplicate it and drag that one up to the top. You may have to increase the size of this to cut off everything you want at the top. Um, and you can press L or hit the align button to make sure everything is covered. And then it is just a case of grouping everything again uh, by pressing Ctrl G or hitting the group button and then waiting, it will take some time. This can be a slow process, but be patient and then finally you'll get the pot shape finished. And that's it, done. And then you're just going to export that as an STL and then import it into your slicing software ready to print. I've got this in Creality Print 6 and I'm going to be printing it on a K1 Max. I'm using just a cheap silk filament on this, but I mean you can use whatever you want. I've also used, it turns out quite nice if you use the dual colour or tri-colour filaments. And that's the pot finished. Now I did several other shape pots, uh, not quite so easy to do the different shapes as this one, but uh, this is a good start. And this one is a flower vase. I did that in a matte PLA. And uh, I also did another pot it's a slightly different and I did that in a rainbow filament and I did a small bowl which I did in a dual color matte PLA black and white that turned out quite nice and that's it thanks for watching I hope you found this useful and uh, a like and subscribe is always most appreciated. I'll just finish off with a few pictures of the pots.